Hi everyone, uh, we're back. This is probably going to be our last instructional video that we need to do. Um, this is to show how you can use pivot tables in Excel since that's kind of a newer option that we had. I thought I would try to do this today side by side. So I'll show you how to do it in Excel on the Excel workbook and I'll show you how to do it in Google Sheets too. You're welcome to, um, to do it either way. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's just the practice that we're interested in. Um, also on Moodle, I put links. I'll just show you, I added these um, in case because we've had so much practice with Sheets, it's kind of silly to make you <clears throat> switch up to Excel right now. So if you wanna do this in Sheets, you'll notice that um, the, the data sets that we used um, uh, that we have in Excel files are also now Google Sheets. So you can just reference those and use them if that'll save you some time. All right, I'm just gonna try to work through what we did in class. Again, showing you how to do this both ways. Um, start off with Excel. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to make our um, uh, our sheet here. Uh, we'll start off with um, selecting all, everything that we have. Okay, so I'm going to do just select the top row and then do select control down arrow to get all of our data. And then I'm going to come up to insert and I'm going to pick pivot tables, which are probably a little bit uh, squished right now. All right, I'm gonna be able to make this a little bit bigger. All right, so pivot table, um, range, so very similar. We got the right range, it's just all our data. New worksheet, click OK. We've got the start of our table. Um, now we, essentially we're gonna complete the table by um, putting in a variable for rows, and then we'll put some values in here too. What we want to do earlier was we said, um, and, and for the rows, we can actually just check this as well, um, but dragging it kind of explicitly tells it like where, where to be. So we can drag this variable or click it in this case and move it down to the rows. And then that's going to tabulate over our different uh, female and male categories that we have here. Let's make this sheet a little bit bigger. All right, and then what we said is we can start putting values in here. So we said one thing definitely we might want to put age in. And the one thing we have to be careful with is that it's um, summing over all the ages. We said that's not a very interesting thing. So we could come to the values down here. I'm going to change the value field setting. Once I click that, I can make it the average. So what's the average age? And sometimes we can clean these up too. Um, if you come up under home, uh, we want the we want the number of decimal places to be reduced, probably to one or two places that is okay in this case. All right. If you ever accidentally too here in Excel, we out clicked outside the table. That's why this is a little more confusing. But if you click outside, you lose your your fields. It's okay. Just click back inside. It'll pop them back up. So it's okay. All right, we might add another one. We might want to know income. We said that's kind of an interesting relationship if we want to measure this gap. And so again, if you want to add any other variables, it doesn't have to be these two. You could put hours worked. We said that's interesting too. Education, you're just going to drag them. And every time you drag them, it creates a new column, something to look at. All right, so we have the sum of the wages. Again, not terribly interesting for our purposes. So we might want to change that to the average wage again. So if I right click, I can input the same thing. I'm just looking for the this value field options is the same, but I can summarize values directly this way. I can pick average here as well. Clicked outside, but just click back in. This is pretty good. You can add more stuff if you're interested. You could add different, you could you could do different statistics here. Um, sometimes you might, you can see you can do the max and the min. Uh, there might be a, a variety of different things that you can pick here to do these values. Okay, we'll stick with average. All right. Let me see if we can clean this guy up a little bit so you can see it. Here, it might be easier to do this. All right, and then we'll fit that one back up. Okay, so let's do the same thing to show you again in Sheets. You can use the old video to do this too if you want to, but 
Um, you'll see how similar these are, and we'll be able to compare the results that we've got. I'm going to just select, again, we're going to select the data first, save us a little bit of time. Then I'm going to go to, um, in this case, it's under data to find the pivot table. Okay, so I'll go under data. This is under the sheet. We can go ahead and make this one bigger so it's a little bit easier to see. So under the data tab, we'll do a pivot table. New spreadsheet, we got the range. Click create. All right, no suggestions, but we know we're gonna add rows. We're gonna use the sex category. Okay, then I'm gonna add values. So the first one we did was age. Notice how they did the same thing, they did sum of age. So this is a little cleaner than Excel actually in this case. So we'll just change that to average, just like we did before. What's really nice too, the spreadsheet, the Google Sheets, they actually give us a little more, I think. Like they have the median, we didn't get that in Excel. But here we can do average. We can clean these up here in Sheets if we want to. Okay. Oh, I clicked out, I just can click back in. I might add another one here. <clears throat> let's add another value category. We said, let's do wage income. Again, sum, let's change that to average. All right. So you can see two different ways to get the same results. You can see these are the same. Gives you the same table, very similar, um, but really nice, quick. As you go through this assignment, just think of it yourself too. Like, what are we trying to show here? You can show if you wanted to do some kind of linear relationship, you know, you can do that. This is a nice way to do the table breakdowns. All right, I hope that helps. Again, send me a message if you get stuck on anything. Um, but again, this is just to do the same thing two different ways. You can use Google Sheets, you can use Excel, either way. All right, good luck.